I have always been a creative person. But uh, I don't know how much you know about depression, but you let go of the things that are the most important to you first. Even though I was depressed, I raised three kids by myself and did everything that I needed to do. But when the kids were raised, I crashed and burned. I just didn't know what to do with myself. I just wanted to go to sleep and not wake up. I have a hard time thinking that people who are homeless just want to be homeless. Depression was definitely a part of my story. A lot of failure isn't good for the ego, I guess, for one thing, but um, I got to the place where I couldn't see my worth. I hadn't worked in a long time. Uh, I really couldn't see the value of my life. At this one point, it just got so dark. It was so hopeless. I was homeless for about eight months. What does it take to rebuild a life? There's a basic need for food and clothing and shelter. But there's also a point in time where one needs to think beyond where am I going to eat or where am I going to take a shower. Our region is fortunate to have many organizations that exist to meet the basic needs of those of us who desperately need support. However, there existed a gap in our community safety net, one that too often left people fed and housed, but otherwise empty. Path with Art was founded to close that gap, to change lives by honoring the creative spirit that lives within all of us. So then I ended up at the St. Charles, and that's a Plymouth housing house on 3rd Avenue between James and Cherry. And I came across my first Path with Art class. And I had the opportunity to move into the YWCA Opportunity Place. And within about six months of having moved into Opportunity Place, I, got, I heard about Path with Art. It made me feel better being creative again, because I, that's what I had let go of. Dedicated teaching artists offer classes in a wide variety of disciplines, from painting to creative writing, sculpture to photography. But being exposed to the people uh, within Path with Art gives you a chance to get a different mindset. Um, there's nothing like a friendly, cheerful face. Let's get ready to create today. Let's, let's uh, use our imagination. Let's, let's see the work of our hands. Let's see what comes out of this time that we have together. And uh, yes, it will pick you up. What is so lovely is by the end of the class, Students will come in, they get their paints, they get their, they settle down to work, they're like totally engaged. And anytime somebody has more tolerance like that, has more capacity for that kind of engagement, they're gonna do better in the world. I'm, I'm, I love my teachers and I love what I'm learning and there's moments when it's scary, but I'd rather be scared and go through it and learn um, than not. It, it makes me a better person. So then I came across poetry writing with Vicki Edmonds, and I realized how much that helped me. And I said at the end that six weeks with her was better than 20 years of therapy. Path with Art is about more than making art. It provides opportunities for a renewed sense of hope and achievement, laying the groundwork for lifelong stability. That's why Path with Art enjoys such strong relationships with many of the area's social service agencies. Well, how Plymouth Housing Group and Path with Art work together is kind of a really interesting combination. We are both working with homeless folks, we are working with people with uh, chemical dependency and mental health issues. The idea is to get people out of their apartments and get engaged with the community because isolation is really hard on folks in terms of being stable in your community. I'm not sure it's about instilling stability, but I think where people have to reach to just work on a piece of art, that kind of engagement, it doesn't instill stability, it reminds them of what is stable. Students experience newfound pride through opportunities to share their work with the public at local galleries and events. So Artie has given me back the joy in my soul. That was so astounding for me, to be able to stand up in front of people and have people appreciate that. Just getting out of the house to go to do some of these events, make a commitment, um, those are words you don't really get into when you're homeless. And 
you're just going from moment to moment, day to day. So um, they give you a new vocabulary. Yeah. It's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. When you support Path with Art, you're providing more than a temporary fix. You're helping to rebuild a life. I think a program like Path with Art provides um, a spark, keeps someone sparked, keeps someone interested, maybe even curious. And as soon as those sparks happen, they're way more apt to stay involved in the, in the other, the ancillary services provided. Path with Art, what's art got to do with this? If it's a tool that helps us keep people stable in our housing and here, with a roof over their heads, safe, in our community, they're not going back on the street. In order to do anything creative, there's certain things you have to tolerate. There's certain things you have to have. You have to be able to tolerate unpredictability for any creative act. You have to have some kind of self-confidence just that you're expressing something. Um, and you have to have skill development for materials or whatever. Well, those are exactly the kinds of things one needs to survive, right? A lot of people who come to Path with Art have mental disabilities, They're, they've been homeless, um, they are homeless, um, but mostly they, they were and they've just made a transition. They've made a major step, a big change. And Path with Art helps you to work with that change of thought. You begin to think bigger, and if you think bigger, you can live bigger. It is a nourishment and a kind of food for the soul and for the mind that it cannot be found anyplace else. It's hard to think about the future if you're only in the moment. What am I going to do about food? What am I going to do about a shower? What am I going to do? When those basic things are taken care of, then it's time to start thinking about something new. What am I going to do with my future? Who am I going to be around? What kind of person do I want to be? And those are questions that, believe it or not, art and artwork can help you answer. It gets at a, a kind of human truth and connection that not much does. Path with Art is deep and strong and makes change. <laughs>